Hi guys, it's Isabella Brave. You do not have to adjust your computer. My hair is gone. I don't know if you can see it very well or not, but bye bye hair. <laughs> I kind of just got tired of it and I didn't do it. I know it looks like I did it myself while I was in an earthquake or <laughs> I got in a fight with a lawnmower, but actually I had my hair done. Anyway, I have really, really exciting news for you. Uh, I don't even know where to begin. I'm kind of losing my voice. I don't know if you can tell. I don't know. I still might do a song, but uh, I just got back from San Francisco over the weekend, and I was in a studio over the weekend, which means I was recording songs. This was my first time in a studio, so there were all kinds of neat stuff and it was a particularly interesting studio and it was in an old house that used to be owned by the Rosicrucians and all this cool trivia I got to see my first phonograph and learn how to operate it and I listened to this record of Stardust by Louis Armstrong I think from 1928 which I held <laughs> on a wooden floor and walked it across the room and learned how to use for anyone younger than even me a phonograph is the record player if you don't know what records are forget it and it's got that horn, you know, like the, the RCA Victor dog is always leaning his ear into, or did. And there was also a nine foot black Steinway grand piano, which I could, you know, lay in. It was so huge. I played a little bit of it too. I played the piano and it's just beautiful. I'd only played old church pianos that are the upright kind. So it's gorgeous. And there was music and, Anyway, so I got to meet J.C. Hopkins, who is the producer of my album that's coming up. And uh, if he sounds familiar, it might be because he did Nora Jones' stuff and a bunch of other things. And I was a little nervous meeting him, yeah, but what a nice guy. He's a fan of my singing. He's a sweetheart, and we talked for hours and hours, not even about music, just things. It was really easy to get to know and really nice. I'm really glad he's the producer of this album. I mean, I don't have anyone to compare him to, but even without that, he's a sweetheart. So I'm, I'm very pleased. And working with him was fun, too. We would be writing lyrics or writing music, and we'd go, no, not that, yes, this, no, that. And nobody's feelings got hurt or anything. We were just rolling along doing this music, and it was like, this is work right now. <laughs> I could do this. <laughs> Although, after three days of singing, uh, you kind of lose your voice. So, I'm being really excited and, ah, and things like that. So, anyway, uh, we are doing some very interesting songs on this album. And I'm not going to quite tell you what exactly they are yet, but I'm pretty sure you're going to be happy and agree with me that these are good songs. Anyway, um, what was most amazing to me besides how wonderful J.C. Hopkins was, is, and I can't wait to see him again in November when I go to New York, because I don't get to see him for a month and he's a sweetheart. Um, I would do everything in one take, just like I do here at home on the videos. And people were kind of like, wowie zowie. I didn't realize that that's not typical or done. And um, things like being told you're pitch perfect, all the time, you know, I didn't realize what kinds of compliments these were. It, to me, they were, you know, you did good enough, that's what you're supposed to do. But it turns out that that's not typical. So that was really nice to be able to be that efficient for everyone and uh, to be complimented and have it just <laughs> be the way things are naturally for me. Anyway, um, singing on a Neumann, two Neumann condenser mics like this, and you sing here, so it's studio. And I got to hear myself on really good microphones, you know, that aren't part of a digital camera and this big, for the first time. And I cried. <laughs> I didn't know whether I sounded really great or not. Everyone else thought so, which was so nice of them to tell me, but it was so clear. You know, when you talk, you can only hear in your head, or whenever you tape yourself, you're like, that doesn't sound like me, you know, that kind of thing. And it was so clear, and it was my voice, and it was amazing. 
every time. That didn't get old. Anyway, so I'm, I'm really jazzed. I'm really, <laughs> really jazzed about JC and all of this stuff we're doing. I'm still getting used to my stupid haircut. <laughs> I hope I don't look like a boy. But uh, I got it, I think right after I did Waiting in Vain, I got it. And I'm still not quite used to it. Although I'm saving a lot of money on shampoo and conditioner. That's for sure. Anyway, um, I hope you guys have a good evening. Um, I hope you're excited. I really am. And wow, wow, singing is cool. And I think this video is really long by now. But all right, I'll see you guys next time.